Hi everyone, welcome to Corn's Kitchen. For today's video, I'm going to share with you guys how I make the carbonara. It is so simple but so delicious. It is for sure one of my favorite Italian dishes. So, let's start making it. This recipe is good for two people, and the ingredients include 150 gram of linguine, two eggs, 75 gram of guanciale or pancetta. 40 to 60 gram of pecorino and some black pepper. You can add an additional egg yolk if you want a creamier taste. For the meat, pancetta is probably easier to find, and here I have the one from Waitrose that's already diced. If you buy a whole guanciale or pancetta, you will have to dice them up first. If you can't find any guanciale or pancetta, you may use bacon as the last resort. Since I have the pancetta diced already, I can now prepare the sauce first. Crack the two eggs into a bowl, then grate and mix in 40 to 60 grams of pecorino. You may go for more if you really like cheese. Pecorino is quite a heavy and salty cheese, so if you prefer a lighter flavor, you can use parmigiano instead. Now, prepare a saucepan of water and bring it to a boil on high heat. Meanwhile, in a separate pan, heat the pancetta on low heat. Do not add in any oil as the pancetta will release the oil you need. Cook the pancetta until they are crispy and golden brown. Then, add in some black pepper and stir for around 10 seconds. After that, you can turn off the heat and let the pancetta cool down a bit. By then, the saucepan of water should be boiling already. First, add in approximately 1 tablespoon of salt, then add in the linguine. Do not break the dry pasta, just put them in gradually. Now, keep stirring and cook to al dente according to the cooking instruction on the package. Now, after the linguine is cooked to al dente, transfer them to the pan of pancetta using a fork or a tong. Note the heat is not on. Quickly mix in the egg and cheese sauce. Keep stirring and use the remaining heat of the pasta to cook the sauce. You can see that it is becoming very creamy. You don't have to heat it further if the sauce is already thick enough. But if you think the sauce is a bit watery like here, you can turn on a low heat and keep mixing until the sauce thickens. When the sauce is thick enough, you can transfer the pasta onto a plate to serve. Once it is on the plate, you can then put in a little bit more of black pepper on top. Now you have the carbonara. You do have to consume it right away because carbonara do not save well. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below and let me know what you think about this recipe and your experience of making it. Please also like and subscribe to this channel for more cooking or baking videos in the future. See you next time in Corn's Kitchen.